Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Dividing monomials. Similarly to the rule for multiplying monomials, the rules really don't change much. Only difference is we're dividing. Again, remember, monomials meaning one term. Okay, so when dividing, same rule applies. When dividing, okay, we're going to divide numbers with numbers, and we're going to divide same letters with same letters. Again, keep in mind the exponent rule. And the exponent rule when we're dividing is that we keep the powers from the powers. We keep the base and we subtract our powers. And we'll see that with our example here. So here's our example. 20x to the power of 3, y to the power of 4, divided by negative 5x to the power of 2, y to the power of 2. So just as we said here, numbers with numbers. So we're going to divide the two numbers. 20 divided by negative 5 will give me negative 4. Now, we're going to divide same letters with same letters. So x to the power of 3 divided by x to the power of 2. The base stays the same, x, and we're going to subtract 3 minus 2 to give me 1. We're going to divide our next set of letters, y to the power of 4 divided by y to the power of 2. So the base stays the same. We have y, 4 minus 2 will give me 2. One thing to keep in mind, whenever your exponent is 1, it's very improper to just keep it as 1. So what we are going to do is we're going to rewrite this expression as follows. Anytime we have just the letter x, it means that we have at least one x being multiplied by itself. Okay, or should I not say by itself, but just x being multiplied by whatever else it's being multiplied with. Notice here how we have negative 4x y squared. It means really the function that's occurring between all of these is multiplication. Okay, so if you were asked to solve this, you would be multiplying all these terms. But in other words here, what we really did was we divided and we got one final expression here.